In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a link from any element in the Web Starts page editor. The method for creating a link may differ depending on the element that you're linking from. In this video, I'm going to show you the different element types and how to create a link from each. The first is text. I've selected my text box and I click on the edit icon. Next, I select the portion of text that I would like to link from. Click on the link icon in the text settings. Now it's time to select where I would like to link to. I can link to my pages, which are pages on my website. And they're in the drop down menu here. Another website altogether, in which case I would have to enter the full web address of the page that I'm linking to. An email address that opens up the default mail client on somebody's computer. A phone number that launches the default phone client on somebody's computer or mobile device. My files, which is a place where you can link to specific files that you've uploaded to WebStarts. An anchor, which is a place on a page in WebStarts. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. And then finally, an action. I'm going to be creating a link to a page on my website, so I select the contact page from the drop-down and click Create Link. To create a link from a button, click to select it, click the Settings icon, then click the Link To icon, and select the page you would like to link the button to from the drop-down menu, and click Create Link. Similarly, if you want to link from an image, find the image, click on it, click on the Settings icon, click on the Link To icon, and select the page that you would like to link the image to and click create link. Now that we've seen how to create a link from text, a button, and an image, let's take a look at how to create a link from your menu. Click to select the menu, click the edit menu icon. Up where it says add page, you can add either a link or sub menu title. We're going to select the option add link. We're going to give the link a name, so it's called services, and then we're going to click the link to. And from there, you can select to link from your menu to another website, email, phone number, a file, or an anchor link. When you're ready to do that, just go ahead and click create link. I'm going to go ahead and link to webstarts.com just for this demo. Click update. You can see that the services tab has been added and that now links to webstarts.com. Let's take a look at what it means to link to an anchor location. To link to an anchor means to link to a place on a page. And before you link to an anchor, you'll want to set up your anchor. So click add, select anchor, and then you'll have this little anchor you can drag down your page. So if you want people to link to, let's say, this section of the page, you would simply link to that anchor. With the anchor placed, I select the element that I would like to link to, click Settings, click the Link To icon, select the anchor, select the page where the anchor appears, in this case it's the home page, and then select the anchor number I would like to link to, and click Create Link. See that anchor link in action? Let's click View Site, click on the button, and it takes me to that section of the page where I place the anchor link. Let's see how to create an action link. This time I'm going to create the link from text, so I select the text box, click Edit, select the text that I'd like to link from, click the link icon, select the action option, and then I'm going to launch an image in pop-up. I'm then going to click this paperclip icon, select the image I would like to launch in my pop-up, click insert file, and then click create link. Let's take a look at that action link. Click view site, click the button, and it launches the image in the pop-up. And then close out the image. Let's link to a video in a pop-up. Click to select the button, click the settings icon, click the link to icon, select action, select launch video and pop-up, select the video you want to launch from the pop-up. It can be a video that you've uploaded or a YouTube video. I'm going to select a YouTube video and click create link. You can see that in action by clicking save, clicking view site, and then clicking on the button. Let's link this button to a file. Click to select the button, click the settings icon, the link to icon, and then select my files. Click the 
paperclip icon and then select a PDF that you would like to link to or another file format. Click insert file and click create link. Be sure to save and then click view site. And now when somebody clicks on the button, they'll be taken to the file that you selected. Thanks for watching this video on creating links in the Web Starts page editor and I'll see you next time.